Hello everybody, Bad Wolf here with an update video for modding The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. In a previous video, I had mentioned about the different versions of the game, uh, Game of the Year Edition, non-Game of the Year Edition, uh, version 1.31, version 1.32. Uh, I found out something interesting that um, GOG uh, has it to where you can revert back to version 1.31 uh, and in order to do that you have to go into uh, your GOG Galaxy client you'll click on Witcher 3 and you'll go into manage installation and configure and right here is the um, different versions uh, this one is the Version 1.32 is the latest one uh, that adds the Chinese localization, the uh, Chinese language. Uh, version 1.31a, uh, all version 1.31a is, is just an update to the version, obviously, version 1.31. Uh, it added uh, Cloud Sync with uh, GOG Galaxy. Evidently, they had an, um, they made a mistake and they revised it. Uh, with a uh, a revision, um, I went ahead and I reverted back to one point three one. I was having problems getting mods, getting the game to start with mods uh, in the GOG version, um, and so I have to, I, I had to redo everything, um, and because of doing that. I've now been slowly putting the mods back in. And as you can see, I'm right, currently right now uh, merging everything um, that I need to merge. And since you can see it right now, this, let's see, that's the thing. This is the same thing. Wait a minute. Why didn't it? Anyway, uh, I'm trying to find out why it didn't uh, didn't choose the correct one. But anyway, um, I'm trying to uh, merge uh, scripts uh, together, uh, and. I'm going ahead and uh, starting the game when I do a little bit at a time. Um, I loaded all the mods again slowly through the Witcher 3 mod manager. And uh, and then I would test, uh, then I would merge scripts, merge textures, then start the game to see if it'll compile all the scripts without any problems. Um, there's been only a couple of times while doing this that I've had to change things uh, on the uh, on the merge scripts because of uh, a compiling error. But other than that, it started up fine so far. Uh, these are the last set of mods that I've in included into the game. And once I get all these bundled texts um, merged together, then I can go ahead and test the last one last time to see if it's running. Um, now, why I reverted back, uh, again, it was because of the fact that uh, the game was not starting. Even if I was using the community patch uh, base, and uh, I have gone ahead and not used the community patch base or uh, the community patch um, bootstraps or shared imports. Uh, I'm still using the Besa Visa and the menu scripts. Uh, and when I go to do a, a let's play a modded witcher 3 wild hunt uh, videos 
I'm going to show the very first video is I'm going to show the uh, what the menu strings mod added uh, to the game and why it needs why with why do you have to have it with mods that has menus? Uh, why is it needed? Um, but that's probably about a week and a half away, maybe a week, week and a half away. Because uh, 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 I've got a lot of things to do this weekend, and uh, it's not involving games. So, um, anyway, uh, this was just going to be a quick video, uh, just as an update. And uh, I have to redo the uh, video of how to revert back uh, the Steam version from 1.32 to. Uh, version 1.31. Uh, I had a message saying that it was uh, cutting off in the middle. Uh, so I'm going to be redoing that. I'll probably do that one uh, maybe Friday morning after I get off work. Uh, and then that's, that's about it. All I'm going to be doing uh, on the games this weekend because uh, I've got a lot of other things to do personally. But anyway, the, like I said, this was just supposed to be a quick video as an update. And uh, I will also do an updated video about the, it's an option to use the community patch base and the community patch bootstraps. Uh, I thought they were, mandatory well not really mandatory i thought they were you know required but i found out they are not uh so that's probably why i haven't had any problems with the game starting up uh, other people may not have any problems uh but i was coming up with too many problems with the same error over and over again uh, so i just got tired of it and then uh when i started reading about reverting uh, the GOG version back to 1.31, I decided to take a chance, remove all the mods, and then update. And so far, so good. All right, well, that's it for this uh, small little video. I will talk to you later. And as always, good luck on the path.